Good morning. I'm going to make a peppermint hot chocolate cookie. Now that's a little chocolate cookie with cocoa. Then it has marshmallow cream, just a little bit on the center after it's baked, drizzled with chocolate and sprinkled with peppermint. Not only is it delicious, but it is the prettiest little cookie you ever saw. So let's get busy on Darlene's table. All right, so I've mixed together the flour, cocoa, baking soda, and salt. I'm going to set this aside until the sugar and butter have been creamed. All right, so now I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar, and this will take five to seven minutes until it's light and fluffy. Okay, I'm going to push the sides down. We still have a good ways to go. Push the sides down again, and I'm going to add the egg and the peppermint extract. Egg and a teaspoon of peppermint extract. The Nielsen Massey brand of flavoring are really my favorite. This is the cocoa baking powder I'm adding the dry ingredients in batches. Okay, the rest of flour. All right. I preheated the oven. I'm going to use a one tablespoon scoop. I want these about two inches apart. I'm going to flatten them just a little bit. I'm going to flatten them just a little bit. Not much because they'll spread out. These are going to cook 10 to 12 minutes at 375 degrees. And what I want to see is I want to see cracks across the top, and then they're going to be removed from the oven. If you get the cracks, they're very small, just slight. All right, so out of the oven. All right, put them on a cooling rack and let these cool completely before you take the next step. I'm melting the chocolate, and I added about a tablespoon of Crisco. That'll help thin out the chocolate because I'm going to just drizzle it across the cookie once we put the marshmallow cream on top. I'm doing it in 30 second intervals and really stir it. Only took doing this twice to melt all this chocolate. This time, I'm gonna put it on a paper plate. Paper plate doesn't get hot, but it looks like I may not need any more time. Stir it, just stir it. You just keep stirring, and it'll all melt. See? Didn't need any more. So 12 ounces of the Ghirardelli milk chocolate only took 60 seconds. But don't do it all at once, 60 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to set this aside to cool a little. All right, I'm going to complete putting the marshmallow cream on all these cookies. It'll spread out a little. I only used about three quarters of the jar, the seven ounce jar of Jet Puff Marshmallow Cream by Kraft. Now they're ready for me to drizzle the chocolate. I just cut a small opening in this Ziploc bag and that's what I put the chocolate in. I'll do a few of them and then I will put the peppermint on top a few at a time to make sure it sticks. Not only is this a yummy cookie, but it's a, a very pretty cookie for Christmas. 
Peppermint Chocolate Cookies. These little cookies are another great gift idea to add to your basket of goodies for Christmas. Chocolate pairs well with peppermint. While in the oven, you could smell the aroma of peppermint in the air. And the crushed peppermint adds a crunchy texture. And if the chocolate cookie isn't enough, milk chocolate is drizzled over the top, elevating this cookie well over the top. I hope you give this cookie recipe a try soon, and please let me know what you think. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed the content we provided, please consider liking and subscribing. That keeps us going. So until next time, God bless, and come back to see me again on Darlene's Table.